Hey Aquarius, how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good. This is Maya. I mean, it's my channel. Um, I just want to say something before I enter here. I feel like um, I don't want to scare nobody, and I usually do, but I feel like um, somebody here suffers from um, high blood pressure or um, some type of sugar issue or drops or maybe goes up, like um. I feel like somebody's going through it with that. If you keep on going through it with that, just please go visit a doctor, go visit a specialist, whatever it is that you do. Because I feel like um, you need to go see a doctor. Okay, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a professional, but I feel it. And before I opened it, it was like I felt it come in. So just go visit the doctor because I don't want it to get worse. I don't want you to get worse, whoever I'm picking up on here. It could be, you know, Aquarius, it could be the cross watch, it could be a family member, it could be anybody that I'm picking up on here, okay, because these are entities, but somebody really needs to go see a doctor and talk to the doctor, maybe get a, a second opinion, a third opinion, because there's something that I'm picking up wrong here that it, I'm not liking it, and it's not that nobody's going to pass on. Or maybe somebody did pass on and my condolences from something like this. But there's something that I'm not feeling right. Or it's a doctor that's doing something that's... There's something not right here. I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up... I don't, I'm not liking a doctor here. Or the way that they're working or the way they're doing things. I'm not liking it. For some reason there's something here or you got to find out about something here about a family member okay so just keep that in mind okay and it's not for every aquarius okay so let's see Mineta, what is what's going on here with aquarius what do they need to know yeah they want me to channel that but that's i'm not gonna do it here what does aquarius need to know The Lover's card, the Four of Pentacles, and the World card. What else? The Judgment card. What else? For Aquarius. You're going to get an offer here from somebody here, and it might be somebody you're dealing with here with money. Um... I feel like Aquarius, you're gonna be. Oh, hold on a minute. Like you're gonna be good. Like hold on a minute. What else here for Aquarius? Yeah, they're jumping out. Like yeah, that's why I was laughing because I felt some stupid ass energy coming in here. Because and I don't mean to laugh. Like it's like I'm laughing at it. It's just I feel the energies when they come. That's why I said hold up a minute. Like. <sighs> There's money issues here. There's somebody here that drained you for money here. Or is plotting something to drain you for money. Or there's something going on here with a lawsuit, a divorce, or something that somebody here, both of you gotta like um split between each other, whatever it is. Something's. I feel like you've been moving on. I feel like you've been doing yourself, but you've been struggling with money here for some of your Aquariuses here, and you're praying that this shit goes good. But there's like, there's an energy here that I don't know, man. It, as I feel like they're hiding for some reason. This energy, this person, whoever it is, is somebody hidden in somebody's family here. They're hidden. It's what I'm picking up. I pick up by intuition. I also hear my guides. You know, I don't hear voices, but they come in my head and they tell me things. Like, there's something here about somebody here hidden in the family doing something. Like, oh my God. Like, what the fuck? Somebody's finances here out of nowhere just stopped. There's somebody you're dealing with here that uh, they caused you a lot of problems with finances. They moved on. They're doing themselves. And you had a lot of, a lot of loss of money here. 
It couldn't even be in a home, your stability, whatever it is. Somebody here. Somebody here. Oh my God, here we go. I don't give a fuck. I said I was coming back and I was coming back strong. Listen, somebody here. I don't know who this this motherfucker is that you, somebody's dealing with here, Aquarius, but somebody here is praying to the wrong one. They're praying to a devil here. And they might be working with the devil. They might have sold their soul to the devil. They might believe in the devil. Everybody, well, the devil does exist, yeah. You feel me? He does exist. She or he does exist. We don't know that it's she or he. But somebody is doing bad things and bringing that energy in like let's just say i'm gonna give you an example like okay i want to um fuck up that chair right there and i want the devil to do it you feel me like that's the energy i'm picking up here this person is like what the fuck like if somebody here mistakenly said the devil or something like that when they were angry or they were doing something here. That motherfucker heard somebody here. There's two different energies here. Somebody don't belong to with somebody here. It's not meant to be. It's not a soul contract. It's not. It might have been a soul contract, but they're not meant to be. In this lifetime, it's like somebody's a different person that has different beliefs here and somebody here is a whole different person here a lot of obsession here a lot of controlling here a lot of substances here i feel like somebody takes substance together here and they convert themselves into two different people and that's not for everybody here i'm picking up a particular couple here that does things together that they shouldn't be doing. And then why you go back and say, okay, I'm fucked up. Look at what you're doing. And this is not for everybody. It's just that I'm picking it up. But I'm going to leave that alone because I'm not in a personal reading here. But if you want things to go good for you, you got to, like, change the ways that you're thinking, the way that you're doing things, the way that this person around you could be the one doing these things. You got to change that in your life because it's only going to bring you downfall with your money finances with work with everything you know you feel me like it doesn't whoever i'm picking up on it could be one person or two but it's just so like oh no i feel like somebody's regretting it and they don't know what to do here and that's okay that's okay you could have done something crazy in your life and regret it and that's okay and I don't feel like it was somebody's fault here. I don't feel like it was your fault. I feel like it was, you had no other choice here for whoever I'm picking up on here. But let me see. What else here for Aquarius here? They sold their soul to the devil. Where the fuck this is in your energy? A family member. Somebody is hidden in a family member here. They're in a cult. They, or they worship the devil, but they're, they're very committed to the devil here. And that's what they work with. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I've, I've, I've removed shit that comes from the devil. Like, I have a pack with death for the rest of my life. And that doesn't mean that I have a pack with the devil. But I know how to work with these motherfuckers. Yeah, somebody here is, is watching you here. Somebody here is trying to figure out their finances. Something here is going on with finances that is not the way that you've had it before. And I feel like it might be a bumpy road. It's like you're trying to get somewhere with this um, finances, but I see a lot of loss of finances here because of addiction, and this could be another person or the person you're dealing with. But somebody here was using somebody for money too, for their, you know, stability, for them to move on, for them to have everything, for them to be somewhere, but they're gonna lose it all too because you just can't be going around doing that shit to people. Let me see what else here for uh, Aquarius. Too many. What else here for Aquarius? There's there's two people here that are trying to kick it off, and there's yeah yeah I can't make shit up. The Ten of Cups. They're trying to kick it off, but there's something interrupting here. Let me see what else here for Aquarius. Yeah, 
Yeah, you remove any shit out of your way. For some of your courses, you removed a lot. And your guys are with you. It's like you walked away. Your guys are all up into it. They're with you. They're helping you here. Some of you, of course, are moving good. Like you're going to have, it doesn't always have to mean that you're going to have a person. You feel me? It just means that you're going to have stability in a home. You know, people you love, whatever it is. For some of your courses here. There's somebody here um, that has changed a lot in the way they move or in the way that they proceed or they used to proceed in things. I don't even know why I'm saying proceed because I don't want to talk like that, but when I'm here is a different story. Um, but there's somebody here that's moving good. So, of course, some of you are moving good. You're leaving things behind. You're walking away from stupid shit. You're walking away from all these bad energies. You've walked away from this terrible energy that caused you a lot of money loss, a lot of, like, crazy shit. I feel like this person was caught cheating anyways. You feel me? And that rocked somebody's world here in a really bad way. You lost a lot of things, a lot of, like, it was an investment. This person was an investment is what I'm hearing here. This person was an investment here. What the fuck? Why is that lover's card here? I mean, I, why is the lover's card here? It's very confusing here. There's too many energies in here. Temperance. So if you got somebody now, or you're trying to build... Like, it doesn't always mean somebody. It's just mean... I feel like you're just loving yourself from that that just came out. That's what just came to my head. Yeah, there it is. The Nine of Cups. Loving yourself. Doing yourself. You feel me? Putting more into yourself. I can't make shit up. To move forward. Okay? But I feel like there's somebody here that you might be meeting. You might... Oh, God. Are you serious? You might be meeting or you met already that you kind of like. You're trying to figure out if you should go with this person. You're trying to figure out if this person is the one if they're going to be the one to help you to stabilize with you whatever it is because there's a lot of embarrassment here so if you feel like you need there's a lot of embarrassment go ground yourself but that's not all you know grounding yourself doesn't fix everything here you know somebody here they're trying to divinate here somebody's trying to divinate here what you're doing here let me see what fell down the magician i cannot make shit up even if i motherfucking try you're moving good. The King of Pentacles is here, okay? Your destiny here, for some of you, is to be rich, is to be well off, is to have a good home, a big home, or some, whatever it is. You know, a good car, a good stable life. It doesn't mean a millionaire rich, but to me, richness is having food on the table, a roof to, uh, in your head, and a, and a bed to sleep on. You feel me? And to be at peace. And... Manifestation. There's somebody coming in here. Somebody new that you might have met already. Or they're in your energy already. For some of your courses. Let me see. Why is a magician here? I cannot make shit up. Somebody's trying to divinate somebody here or try to figure out what you're doing. Or you are trying to find out about something and something's not right. It's like you can't get no answers here. Or somebody's not getting answers here. They might be trying to go to psychic readers, practitioners, whatever, witches, whatever it is. I'm out of those. I can't. I won. But I feel like... They're going to somebody here to try to do something. Why is the high priest in reverse? Why is the high priest in reverse? There's a lot of things going on here. The seven of cups. Somebody feels here like if you've cheated or you've done something here and they, they keep on telling them no 
whoever it is they're going to, they keep on saying no. But this person likes drama. Whoever this psychic is, and I'm not saying anything bad about psychics, because I am a psychic myself, but whoever they're going to is like, they say no, but then they say other things that are not true. You feel me? To start shit. And this person is working on somebody here because of this person that is telling them things that is not true. You feel me? I hope y'all understand me because I know what I'm saying. It's like if somebody, it's like if I go to a psychic right now, let's say, and I want to find that my mind is cheating. And they tell me no. But then they tell me something else to fuck me up more than what that question was. To get me to work, to do things. Somebody's lying here. Somebody's severely lying here. Why is that judgment card here? You have, you, there's some Aquarius here that have no time to even date. No time to even do nothing because they got so much going on. There's like, there's no time to date, no time to be in the bullshit, no time to be in the drama. And it's like you're trying to like overcome whatever it is that's, you know, you're holding in your back. And it, it's, I feel like it's finances. Why is this um, Ten of Cups in reverse? What else? Listen, the Ace of Cups fell on the Ten of Cups in reverse. If you're worried about your finances, don't worry about your finances. They're going to be good. And they're going to be better than ever, okay? So please don't worry about your finances. I know what saying that is like, you're still going to think about it. You're still It's going to still be in your head because I do the same thing. But you're going to be jumping into a new whole energy. You feel me? You know, you're going to be good with money. If you're looking for a new job, if you're looking for a job, period, if things are going bad, they're going to be starting go They're going to start looking good. And for some of you, you are looking good. You are standing in that power. You are good with your family. You just come in here just to, you know, look at tarot reading is what I'm picking up here. I feel like for some of you, you are going to be jumping the leap of faith to something new, something better, something that's going to be promising to you, something that you've wanted for a very long time here. It's like picking an apple. I don't know why I heard that. I don't know if somebody likes apples here. Or, I don't know, somebody's working with apple. I don't know. I just heard picking an apple. I don't know what that means. I just saw an apple tree. I wish I would have one, but I don't know why I'm seeing that. It could be picking up on Aquarius or just things that I'm seeing that I see daily. Let me see. Why is that um, kind of fun here? You're having faith in the situation here. It's going to give. It's going to give. But this Knight of Swords is coming directly. It's like you're looking away at a person that's so toxic that it's like you don't even want nothing to do with this person. And they're going straight to that double card. Like this person. There's a lot of energies here. For Aquarius, so bear with me. So this is not yours. Just look at what's yours because, or look at your sun, moon rising. I mean, uh, you see what I'm saying? There's just a lot of confusion here. Moon rise. There it goes again. Your rising moon arenas, because somebody is going straight for that double. It's like they don't stop. It's like they're manifesting something here so you don't move forward, so you don't get to where you want to go. The fuck? Why is a double card here for Aquarius? The Ten of Pentacles. I can't make shit up. They're attacking your finances. You could be magic here, then spells, whatever it is. But there's a lot of money lost here. There, are, you were good with money at some point here. You got people here you can't trust. Family members. You got a pregnant person here. That I'm seeing in the family, or somebody's pregnant, or somebody lost a child. My condolences. Or somebody was pregnant and they went and did something to not have that baby. But somebody here is paying for something that they severely did wrong here. Is what I'm picking up. They're going to pay. And the whole family is going to pay because of this person. What the fuck? Like, I can't. Sometimes here the family pays for what one person does. 
because it was done in that home. You feel me? So when something really bad is done in a home where it brings bad energies, bad entities, working with um even like this devil motherfucker here that worships the devil, whoever the fuck it is, male or female, things will start going wrong in a home. I see somebody here crying for somebody here. Why is this um devil card here with a ten of pentacles here? It's like somebody here, man. I feel like somebody here. Yeah. You gotta choose. Somebody's getting evicted here, is what I'm picking up here. Because of a problem that somebody caused here, or a problem that was caused here in the home, somebody's getting evicted. You are gonna find a place here, okay? So somebody got evicted here, or you got a notice, or you need to move, or whatever the case is, you are gonna find a place. If you're, if you're losing your mind looking for a place, you are going to find a place. All the signs are here. That's why I'm not saying them. Everybody is here. Libra. There's a lot of air here. I can tell you that. A lot of air. A lot of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. There's more Gemini. There's Aries. There's um, Sagittarius. There's, everybody's here. So I'm not going to concentrate on the signs too much because it don't matter. The signs. You feel me? It matters the, what the message is. Okay? Let me see. Why is this... Eight of Pentacles here. I stopped. It was going to go reverse. The strength card. Yes, I was going to go to reverse and I stopped. There's somebody here needs strength here. Somebody here is overwhelmed. Somebody here doesn't know what to do. There's a lot of problems around somebody's energy here. Or it's causing a lot of this focus in the mind where somebody doesn't know what to do here. Why is that strength card in reverse? It's because of somebody here. It's come out of the fence, the Knight of Cups. There's a back and forth and a back and forth going on here that's driving me crazy. With a person here. Be careful not getting yourself into a situation where you're going to have a problem here because I feel, I feel like somebody is going to go full-blown as somebody here and end up where they're not supposed to end up. So be careful what you do. Why is this um, Ten of Cups here for Aquarius? The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody here is trying to come in here. Hold on. Why is that Eight of Pentacles here? It's like they taking things out of my hand. Whoever this motherfucker is got me fucked up. Yeah, be careful who you date. Be careful who comes to energy. Be careful who offers you whatever. You feel me? Because they're going to offer you family. They're going to offer you stability. They're going to offer you a relationship, whatever it is. And they're going to walk away. They're going to walk away. I feel like somebody here is committed to somebody else. And they come in to other people, you know, shake their world up. Okay, you know, we're in a commitment. Go on, let's date. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we get somewhere. But they got a whole other person. They leave somebody here stuck. You can't trust somebody here. And I feel like some of you know this already here. Let me see. This hangman. Why is this hangman here? The King of Cups. Somebody that's been there and done that. Knows the game. Knows how to do it. Has been through everything. Has gotten hurt. Has been through the whole thing that everybody's been through. You feel me? This person is very wise. They know how to love, but they know how to destroy at the same time. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Page of Wands. Why the six of swords here? Some of your Aquarius is man. I didn't pull that many cards for my last reading, but I'm glad to pull all these cards because something's going on here that I'm not liking. At the end of the day, the Queen of Pentacles is here. So you're moving into that Queen of Pentacles energy, male or female. You're going to get what you want at the end, but there's something here in the middle that's blocking it. 
you're trying to figure out your finances, how you're going to do it. It's like a lot of meditation. And not meditation, a lot of thinking here. There's somebody in your family here or surrounding your energy or even your person that with all the energies they have, it's like you feel like you have no energy. Even if you haven't done nothing, you feel like your, your, your energy is dropping here. What do we have here for Aquarius? Later? It could be a scorpion. Let me see what else. Is there anything else here for Aquarius? Okay. It's like they're pulling the cards off of my hands. Let me see. What is it? Okay, so let's see what you got here. You got Scorpio here, so you could be a oh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You got Scorpio in your chart, so check that. Okay, there is all the signs in here, like all the water signs, all the fire signs, all the air signs. You know, all the earth, earth signs are here. I will not stop to your mind. Obsessed. Somebody is destroying something here, trying to destroy something new that you got going on because they're obsessed here. And it could be a Scorpio. It could be somebody with a Scorpio placement, or you have Scorpio in your chart, but. There is somebody to, trying to destroy you here. They're not going to stop because they're obsessed. Your sex is too good. That's fucking up their minds. So, yeah. Somebody here. I can't, but I can't. I can't. Like, I can't. And I live it every day. Like, I used to live it every day. Like, yo, like, somebody's obsessed here because your sex is too good. You feel me? So, that's not a bad thing, but it's a fucked up thing because I feel like, when they get overly obsessed with that which has happened to me a thousand times like it comes to a point where you don't even want to see this person anymore you might have just met somebody and you fucking them up in the bedroom you feel me and that has them all fucked up like they ain't out of line with that shit <laughs> like they ain't out of line they falling in love you feel me and they don't even know what's happening cause I feel like this person tries to come off as like, oh, I don't find love. Oh, you know, like one of those people that they do find love, but they try to like hide it. But I feel like you're making this person think, whoever I'm picking up here. You make me weak. I don't know if I could ever deal with that out of my comfort zone. So yeah, you're making somebody weak here. You, your whole self, your whole energy is making somebody weak here. Your sex, everything is making somebody weaker. Like I said, somebody here is very proud. They work with their ego. They work even with themselves when nobody knows you're making them weak. And that they don't even know they could deal with that because they're too strong in their own fucking ego. It's like dealing with a person that can't accept that you're doing something good or better and it makes them feel good and they can't accept that. That's ridiculous. I like, I can't. Player and a cheater, unfaithful third party. I'm telling you, the third party here. Can't make shit up. Somebody playing somebody here with somebody, and there's an ex involved. And they, I don't know, there's a lot of shit going on here. They will only be with trash because you hire your honor. Exactly. You high honor, baby. Aquarius, you high honor. Okay? You've been there, you've done that, you know the game, you know how it rolls, you know how it goes. You feel me? So if you get yourself in a predicament, it's because you wanted to. Or because there was no other choice. But. They picking up trash. Okay. And you had I don't know no matter what. And they going. It's like I feel like they're in a situation right now. Where they're all banged up. But I feel like somebody here of your courses are still dealing with this person. And they're in a situation where they can't get out of it. It's going to cause a whole big problem between you, this person, the other person, and a bunch of people here. Be very clear of giving. Give what you get. Don't be afraid to stand your ground when needed. Give what you get. Don't take any less. When I'm um, around you, I can't hide anything. It's scary. You know me too well. Yeah, motherfucker. You know? Like, they like they try to hide things, but it's like you already know. Your intuition's on point. You feel me? It's like you can't hide nothing. This person cannot hide nothing from you. Or is they you, you can't hide nothing from this person. It's like they already know you. But be very clear of giving anything to anybody because there's a lot of people here using here. There's somebody coming your direction because 
you got money because you are stable because you got something here and they're going to try to ask you for something and then move away they're going to walk away from that don't let nobody do that okay i'm gonna give you some dice this could be your first middle and that's the initial you this person what were you thinking about it don't matter okay so let's see i haven't done these in a while let's see what comes out I just heard Zoe in my head, so I don't know what that is. There's an S in there. Let me see. You got an E here. You got an N here that could also be a Z. You got an S, okay? You got a T. You got a G. You got the R. Yes, I'm doing the dices. You got an N here again. You got a U that could be an N. You got a Z. You got an I, okay? You got an F. You got a Q. And you got... You got an A that could also be an R. So... You got two N's here that are doubled up, so I'm going to flip one of them. I don't know which one I want to flip. Let's flip this one. Let's see what I can get to. You got a D, okay? So I wish you the best of luck. I love you and I'll see you later, my loves.